Hello guys, uh, welcome back to this channel and thanks for viewing this video. Uh, in today's video, it's going to be a continuation on the two videos I made on the menu bar and the menu and the sub menu, how to create them, how to select them and all of that. In this particular video, I'm going to show you what will happen, for example, if you select the menu and we say home. Instead of showing a message in the console, I want to actually show a message in the frame. So I want to use a label for that. Or we were using the system without the print line, uh, but I want to show you how you can actually use a label, add that label to your frame. And then based on which menu you will click on, you know, the text of your label would definitely change on your frame. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. So let me declare a label here. I'll say J label. I'll call it label. I'm gonna declare it globally because I'm going to use that in my um, various methods outside of the constructor. So after I have declared the label, I need to come inside my constructor and say label assignment operator J label. So this is going to instantiate my label and I have to add this particular label to my frame. I will say this that add label. I also need to set the text of this label. So I'll say label that set text. I'll simply say this is a label. I need to put that inside double quotes because this is supposed to be a string. So now that's it. When you click on to run, you can see that the label is showing on the frame. Okay, this is a label. So I can choose to actually change the background color of my uh, frame. I will say this that get content pane that set background and I will say color that white. Uh, no, I will say color that blue. I want the background color to be blue just to make the frame colorful. Okay, now you can see the background color of the frame is blue. I still have my menu bar and the various menus and menu and sub menus. But the text of the label is black. I want it to be white so that we will be able to read that. So I will say set foreground color that white like this. Now let me run. Okay, now you can see this is a label, the text is white. I can change the size of the font. I will say set font, new font. I can say console us for the font family. Uh, the font style, I will say bold. As for the size, I can say 24. Let's try the 24. And now let's, okay, this is a label. This is how it's showing. So as you know, when you run and when you click on the menu, for example, the message is showing in the console, but not on the label, on the frame. So now we want to change that. We want to show the message on the frame. How do you do that? So what we're going to do, we will actually override this label set text, okay? In the action performed, for example, the action performed is applied on the sub menus. So that means that we want to say that if you click on the sub menu, we want to change the text of the label. So instead of saying system without that print line, we will say label that set text, and then we define the text of that particular label. So here we will change everywhere we put system that add a print line, we will change it to label that set text. So that will be it here as well that label that said text the last one here we label that said text also i will also do the very same thing for my menus in the menu selected method so label that said text every so now what this is going to do is that we will not have any message show in the console but instead we will have our label change according to the menu or the sub menu item that we will click on so now let me run and you will see the difference. So by default it's showing this is a label because we instantiated it in our constructor. So now if I click on home, you see this is home menu. If I click on about us, you can see this is about us menu. If I click on our blog, this is our blog menu. If I click on contact us, this is contact us menu. Okay. So if I click on a sub menu, like our vision, you click on the vision sub menu. Let me change. There's a typo mistake here. Put I. Now let me run. When you click on our mission, you see you click on the mission sub menu. Click on blog. You click. This is our blog menu. You clicked on the podcast sub menu. You clicked on the articles sub menu. You clicked on the message sub menu. You clicked on the donate sub menu. So that's what I wanted to show you. Instead of using the system that are the print line, you could actually use the label that said text and, and follow the steps, right? By declaring a label globally, instantiating it in your constructor, and then 
in the various methods instead of using the system without the print line you actually you rather use the label that said text what if i don't instantiate like this and run now we can see this is home menu okay so if you don't instantiate the label when you run nothing will show on the frame because you didn't instantiate the text of your label but as soon as you click on a menu for example you know some label will show click on the other about us menu you know some label will show based on what you defined in your various methods all right guys so that was it on um, this video how you can use labels to show labels based on which menu you click on you know and i hope this video was informative and please don't forget to like to share to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one let's meet in the next one